What is up guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with a new video and today I'm going to be talking because I haven't talked in a while. I was gone for like three months. I posted about four or five videos the past two weeks, you know, trying to be a little bit more active and I got some big news today. Obviously, a lot of you guys know I'm no longer a part of Team Envious. They decided to release me and pick up Decimate, which is completely understandable. I was technically statistically under underperforming. And, you know, Decimate was a player who was performing statistically well, and they decided to pick him up over me, which is completely understandable. There's no bad blood with me and Envy. You know, I have love for Envy. I always will love Envy no matter what. And it just kind of sucks how things went down, and it kind of sucks that I just couldn't fit in the team. Like, obviously, you're running a Sog in this game. You guys know the Sog isn't the best gun. The Maddox is definitely easier to use and easier to do well statistically. It's just easier to win more gunfights. And on top of that, I was running Crash. And Crash, as you know... It just gives your teammates 200 health. This helps your teammates. It's basically a support specialist. And to top it off, I, I couldn't run like a second perk like Lightweight. I think Lightweight is pretty good in this game. It's hard. It was difficult for me to run Lightweight without sacrificing attachment. Because uh, therefore, you know, as a War Machine or Grapple player, you get to not waste a point on the tactical. And you get to use that point to put on a second perk or a second or a third attachment. So you basically have... A better way of getting more kills and you're basically able to stack yourself a little bit more so making it slightly better and easier to get more kills and just do well on the map so i felt like i was hindered a bit on the team and just felt like i guess i just couldn't connect well with the team so it kind of sucks that it went down like that but you know like i said no bad blood you know new chapter new team new me new role and to get into that right now we're playing denial you guys know denial's new team which is like rated brack alex joe and vance uh, versus the my new team eg with exotic jcap phantoms and attach do not use code attach use code apathy <laughs> but um that's my new team and we're playing them in the scrim i do really well this map um you see as the game goes on get some nice good kills and you know i'm really excited to be playing with these group of players you guys know i had a lot of success with jcap I, I won multiple events with cap we won a world championship should have won two but you know don't want to talk about that that's a nightmare of iw and, you know, I'm really excited to be playing with him. Uh, he brings a lot of knowledge to the team. Uh, obviously, he's a very smart individual, especially in Call of Duty. He knows what he's doing. He knows a lot about Call of Duty and just understands the game very well. And that just allows the team to get better as long as he continues to give us, give us info, give us input, uh, fix our mistakes, things like that. And, you know, he's a, he's a good player, man. He's really clutch. I know he can be a little inconsistent at times, just like how he's been before and just like how I am. We all can be like that. But I really have a lot of faith on him. He's going to be our main ICR on the team. So him is that's going to be more of, you know, him looking over us and using teamwork and being more of a leader on the team, which I feel like it's going to let everyone else excel in their department. And I think it's going to make us play better and do better. So we've been playing really good. Uh, first couple of days of scrims have been kind of on and off, but we really have stepped it up the past couple of days. And to next player, you got Exotic. Exotic is still, was always part of Evil Geniuses. Uh, he's been playing pretty well all year. He's the main Maddox. Uh, just been doing very good, honestly. I'm really surprised. I uh, just want to, you know, he's a young beast, man. He hasn't really, I, I know a lot of, some of you guys know who Exotic is. Some of you guys don't. I mean, he's made a name for himself for the most part. But, you know, he's going he's gonna to continue to blow up. And I know this kid is going to do some damage in the league and at the tournament. Then you got Phantoms. I stopped shooting there, by the way. Don't look at that. We got Phantoms who won the open bracket team with uh, Phase Black. Uh, they won the open bracket at Dallas. Uh, so now Phantoms is someone who kind of blew up this year. Uh, people didn't really know who he was. And he's a kid who has a lot of potential. And he's actually pretty smart. Like, he catches me off guard. Like, he's pretty talented. He's pretty smart. Uh, he's obviously not a veteran. He's more of a new player. And I feel like he has a lot to learn. But, you know, if he's just one of those players that he has a lot of talent. He has a lot of potential. If we can help him get even better and, like make him understand a lot of things and make him play better like he's gonna be insane like he's already nasty don't get me wrong but he's even gonna be nasty er and he's another kid you guys gotta look out for because he can be pretty disgusting sometimes and he's just gunning and running and and he's smart can't forget the smart part and then of course it's attach i'm really excited to be teaming with attach um you know i've always wanted to team with attach i feel like he's just has a great mindset great mentality wants to put in the effort wants to win just as bad as i do and he's obviously really talented. Probably the best search and destroy player in the game. Or best search and destroyer player in the world. Um, but yeah, he's disgusting. Obviously, just very talented. Understands the game. More of a veteran player like me. Uh, he won a world championship with JCap2 back in AW. They have chemistry. I have had chemistry with Cap. And we all, you know, just can mix well. And just like mesh well really well. Get smoke. Um, but yeah, and on top of it, to top it off, 
Uh, like I said, scrims at first were kind of going bad, guys. I won't lie. Uh, we're a brand new team from three different teams, so you guys can imagine like it's just gonna be all over the place. And um, it just it was kind of chaotic at first. Uh, we definitely weren't playing correctly. Things were making a lot of mistakes. And you know, as we progressed uh, and as we moved on, every scrim like first scrims like um, we weren't we we're winning like one map, maybe two maps per scrim max. We we're getting smoked like every scrim the first like two days. And then, you know, we kept going over things. We kept talking about things. We kept improving. We kept going hard. We kept trying to get better. And then eventually, we did it. Like, we've gotten a lot better. We've been putting a lot of effort, a lot of hard work, a lot of time. And, you know, I'm pretty sure it's just because we're all hungry. We all want to win. We're, we're all, we all want to prove that, you know, we can be a top contender team. And, you know, we've been going hard for London, man. And our respawns has been looking pretty good. Obviously, like, our hard point needs a little bit of work. Our control has been looking, honestly, probably our best game mode right now somehow. Our hard points getting a lot better though. We're starting to win some hard points for sure. And you know, we're doing a lot better in general. Like we're making better plays, we're making smart plays, we're making, you know, situationally good plays. You were helping each other more because our teamwork was kind of like a little bit ass off the break, off the start. And this the biggest thing for me is gonna be search and destroy. I think I finesse here. The biggest thing for me is gonna be a search and destroy. If we can fix our search and destroy, I think we'd honestly be disgusting. Like we'd be easily a top contender. Not easily, but we we could potentially win London. It's gonna not gonna be easy, but it's gonna be hard. But you know we can do it, and we will be a top contender. If our such destroy game goes up, that's something we just have a couple days to work on. But we're gonna do our best to work on it as much as we can before the tournament. And then as the tournament goes on, I guess we just, you know we'll get reps in. We'll play some search destroy versus a lot of teams, and then we'll just kind of adapt and just kind of like you know work on it because obviously when you get to play at a tournament, you get to practice. You get a lot of maps. You get a lot of matches. Pool play. You play against three teams. You just get to play a lot, and hopefully, like, it, as the tournament goes, we'll slightly improve at, on that search and destroy, and we'll continue to get better as long as we're, like, realizing some mistakes and picking up on things. But, yeah, so leaving Envy, not something I wanted it to happen, but, hey, it happens, man. Uh, they just went, uh, like, I, I understand the situation. It sucks that I sort of put myself in this situation, um, but, you know, it is what it is because I understand why they're doing it, so I can't be mad at that. You know, I've been competing for a very long time. I'm, I'm a veteran player. I've been playing, I guess, pro Call of Duty for almost nine years now. Like eight, eight, nine years. Probably eight years as a pro, as a pro. Like eight years. Is it eight years? That's a long time. I don't think it's eight years. Might be eight years. This might be my eighth year of being pro. So yeah, I understand the complete situation. So I'm not really mad. I'm just mad at myself that I let it get that far and I let it get to that point. So I'm only the real one I can blame is myself. And partially, obviously, you could put blame on other shit. But who, who got time for that, bro? Yeah, you got you to gotta take blame for shit. And I'm just going to take blame for a lot of things and take blame for this <laughs> so it is what it is but i'm really happy to be part of eg now and on top of that another thing a new role i'm no longer a crash sog player i am a grapple main sog player with the bam with the grab slam and i love that shit grab slam grapple wish i would have been using it from the get-go this is my favorite specialist in the game and it just fits my play style fits the way i play i've always been a dominant sub especially middle to long to the later of the year you guys know i step it up i get better um it's just a mix of you know actually i'm not gonna say it's a mix of anything we're just gonna we, you guys just know that i always i always turn up you know i've been putting a lot of time and putting a lot of effort i feel like i've been improved a lot and it just sucks that i felt like that could have been i could have been that good ass player on envy but like i said things happen can't dwell on the past i'm on a new team with a great amazing players great people surrounded by people who want to win and are hungry to win and dominate so i'm gonna do that with them i'm gonna dominate with them and lastly, before I go, because I think we're about to win this game soon. I'm frying 32, 14, you know me, just frying, making some good plays. Lastly, I am trying to be more consistent on YouTube and streaming and all these things. I want to be more consistent. You guys know on and off the years, especially competing, I've been a little bit inconsistent. I've been taking breaks. I took like a three month break off YouTube, I think. I think like I just been posting made videos two weeks ago, but before that, didn't really post much videos. So I've been really inconsistent and I understand that. And you know, I'm not going to say I'm going to be grinding my ass off right now because competing, number one priority, will always be. And obviously, like, I compete, I, I practice a long time, like, putting in all that extra time to, like, play more and stream more and make YouTube videos is obviously even extra time on top of competing and practicing. So it's hard to do that at full time, but I'm going to try my best to be consistent with it. And even if it's, like, posting a YouTube video every other day, even if it's like streaming two hours, three, four hours a day, but I'm streaming almost every day, you know, things like that. Like, I'm not going to do it excessively, but I'm going to do it consistently. 
So I really hope you guys tune into my stream, twitch.tv slash apathy. I find this map. I uh, hope you guys, you know, I play league play. I do play league play with subscribers sometimes. I do play uh, Money Tens and stuff like that. You guys can watch. You guys can learn. You guys can have fun. And I will be posting on YouTube pretty often, so make sure to subscribe. But I hope you guys support my journey. Hope you guys support me, my new chapter. And yeah, hope you guys follow me more around. And I'm going to try to be more as consistent as possible. Hope you guys all have a good day. It's been your boy Afti and I'm out with you.